Have you ever gotten a malware or a virus that takes over your system and won't let you click or open anything? Some popular ones these days are the fake antivirus that tell you they found multiple infections and want you to buy their product for them to clean your system. That is malware, a piece of intrusive and unwanted program that affects your computer. Those are particularly persistent and hard to remove. Here are some simple steps that will help you remove such malware or viruses. It will work for the most common ones. The first step is to turn off your system. If the start and shutdown way does not work, do a hard reset. Hold the power button on your computer until it shuts down. We now need to restart the system without letting the malware start. To do that, we need to boot into safe mode. To achieve this, we need to hit the F8 key found at the top of your keyboard just before Windows will try to boot. When a computer starts, its first step is to post. Do a power on self test. The computer is looking for all the available hardware, the physical parts, in the computer that I can use. Usually during that time, we see some type of white writing on the black screen. After the computer posts, it looks on a hard drive for an operating system, in our case, Windows 7. We want to hit the F8 key at that time and hit it multiple times to make sure it registers. If you've succeeded, the screen will look like this. If you miss it, Windows will load and you will have to restart the system again. When you've succeeded to get the recovery mode screen, select the option Safe Mode with Networking using the arrow keys and press Enter. Now Windows will load the minimum drivers so that it can start. This means that 99% of the time, the virus or malware will not load. You will notice the screen resolution is poor because we are using the most basic drivers. Once Windows is done loading, at the top you will notice it says Safe Mode, so we are good to go. Check to make sure you are connected to the internet and open a browser window. Go to google.com and search for Malware Bytes. We will open the link to their site. Click on Products and choose to download the free version. This is a very good anti-malware program kept up to date often and has never failed me so far. Once the download is completed, open the file and follow up the on-screen instructions to install. They are very straightforward. Once installed, open the program and let it update its database to the newest version. Once you get to the main screen, choose Perform a Quick Scan and click on Scan. This scan could take a while depending on how powerful your computer is and how many files it has to scan. When it finds an infected item, it will appear next to Objects Detected. Once the scan is done, follow the on-screen instructions to remove the malware that was found. The button will be located here. This process should have eliminated the malware or virus, or, at the very least, severely crippled it. We can now shut down the computer and restart it normally. We are now back into Windows, and the malware hasn't loaded. Great! We now need to run an antivirus scan. You can use your own, or, if you don't have one, I recommend using Microsoft Security Essentials. It is fairly powerful, kept updated, and best of all, it's free. If you want to download it, make sure to check which version of Windows you are running. If you are not sure, click Start, right-click Computer, and choose Properties. We can see which version we have next to System Type. Choose the correct version and download it. Once the download is done, follow the on-screen instructions to install it. Once installed, choose Quick Scan and Scan Now. Once the scan is over, it is a good idea to go back into Malwarebytes Anti-Malware and run a full scan just to be safe. You can go grab a byte at this point, it will take a while. Once this is all done and scans come back clean, congratulations, you've successfully cleaned your computer yourself. Just make sure you figure out how you got infected in the first place and try to avoid doing it again. If the malware or virus is still there, it might be a good idea to shut down your computer and bring it to a computer professional for professional cleaning. Malware Bytes has a paid version, which I find very good and useful, that protects your system in real time 
meaning you don't have to run scans to see if there are infected files on your system. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel if you liked our video and stop by our website to read more articles.